Church of Ireland was officially disestablished on January the 1st, 1871. We commemorate this event today in 2021, 150 years later. On this very table, it is said, William Gladstone drafted the text that would form the Irish Church Act of 1869, and it would see the Church of Ireland becoming an entity in its own right and tied neither to the Church of England nor to the state. When the Archbishop of Canterbury preached in St. Patrick's Cathedral, Dublin, in 2019, at the national service held to mark 150 years since the disestablishment of the Church of Ireland, he issued the following challenge to the Church of Ireland, that is to us, to be a church without borders. There are, of course, many ways of understanding this phrase, a church without borders. In our geographical context, it points clearly to the ongoing challenge and opportunity, as history has played its hand, for the Church of Ireland to be one church in two distinct political jurisdictions. Now this may sound easy enough, indeed obvious enough, if you live inside the church. But what does it look like if you are outside the church? Or if you step outside the church building and the church mindset into the community and into the society? We are proud and delighted through Disestablishment 150 to be free to shape our own future. What might our priorities be now? Priorities beyond the Church. Our watchword should be the words of St Paul to the Galatians as we walk together with everyone in what I might term an unbordered way. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit.